Hello, I'm Valeria Soshkov and in this short presentation I'm going to tell you something about trees. Perhaps you have already heard this word trees, so you're curious what it is and what it stands for and what it can do for you. So let's start. Trees, first of all, is an abbreviation abbreviation from Russian language. That's why it is not easy to translate it to English. But let's say that one of the best translations would be a theory of inventive problem solving. Or a theory of solving inventive problems. That's perhaps a more correct translation. Tris was originated by a Russian engineer Gianni Halchur in the 50s of the 20th century. So by today trees is already about 60 years old. When people hear about trees, they often hear that trees is a tool for solving inventive problems and generating creative solutions. It's not exactly correct. The truth is that trees is a collection of tools. So we better say that trees is a toolbox. For instance, today we use approximately 30 different tools which were developed in trees to solve different types of tasks. The difference between trees and other methods which support creative thinking and innovative thinking is that Trees is based on a systematic approach to producing creative ideas. The idea of culture behind creating trees was not to study how inventors work, but to study what they do and to study the results of their work. So, Gary Halchur made a huge effort on studying different types of literature or different types of presentations, patterns, books to find out what were the inventions and if there are any similarities between seemingly totally different inventions. And he discovered that basically made all vast majority of inventions comply with a relatively small set of principles. And we, when we know these principles, we can use these principles to trigger our mind, to boost our creativity and to quickly come up with solutions that we need. That was a major idea behind TRIS. TRIS modern TRIS is based on several key concepts. But the first, most defining concept of trees is called contradiction. What is contradiction? You know, in our everyday life, we face totally different types of problems. And when we try to solve these problems, our most known way is just to look for already existing solution and to try to adapt this existing solution to your situation. If the solution does not really work, we try to optimize. For instance, if I have a coffee cup and I want to make it unbreakable, totally unbreakable, I can make it from steel or I can make the walls of this coffee cup very thick so it doesn't break when it falls down. If the results are fine and acceptable, then we found the solution. But sometimes we want more. And very often we want to put those requirements on the same system or object or situation which actually do not match. They uh, simply conflict each other. For instance, let's say I would like to go to mountains or to the forest for a walk. And I know that somewhere in the middle of the forest I would like to drink coffee. So, but take this 
Do I want to take this cup with me? Certainly not. Because it's too big and it's too heavy. And I know that I will have a bag filled with totally different things and I don't want to carry that thing with me. So, what would be the solution? The ideal solution would be that I don't have any cup when I walk and I have a cup when I sit down and prepare my coffee. Well, so it sounds really strange, like the cup does not ex should not exist and it should exist only when I want it. Well, to solve this problem is perhaps impossible or I can think about inventive solutions. So it's clear that this cup, no matter how I change it, is not going to work. So I need to invent a new cup. Let's say which will be very, very small and very lightweight and not occupy any place in my bag. But at least, but at the same time, it will give me a comfort when I drink coffee. So, instead of this cup, I can use this cup. You see, it's small and very tiny and very lightweight. So, the trick is that to drink coffee, I have to make a cup. It's not a cup yet. It's just a, a well, assembly of certain segments. But what can I do? When I arrive to the place and make coffee, I open them. So, oops. Now I made a coffee. Coffee cup. Perfect. So you see. So in this case, we resolve the conflict between parameters. The coffee cup must be big. So I have, well, the process of drinking coffee becomes comfortable. And at the same time, the cup, the cup should be very small. So it fits to my bed and does not occupy any space. So as a result of his study, Altschuler identified lots of such solutions. He brought them together, he grouped them, and described a number of principles which we can use. For instance, a principles in the scalp are known as segmentation. Segment your object into pieces or collect your object from, assemble your object from a number of small pieces. And another principle which is used in cup, in this cup, is a principle of dynamization. You see, it's not a really static object. It's dynamic because it can move. So increasing the degree of freedom between system parts is an essence of the principle of the so-called principle of dynamization. So in truth we have this list of principles, but that's only a small part of modern trees. Another big part of trees is so-called trends of man-made systems evolution. What it is. While collecting these principles, which I have mentioned, Altschuler and his associates identified that a technology is not evolving randomly. No, there are certain similarities between evolution of totally different technologies. These, these uh, similarities can be presented on a higher level and then they can be reused. So we can apply this knowledge to forecast evolution of our products, systems, objects. So in this case we are talking not just about a voice of customer which we have to listen to when we want to uh, develop new products or new services. In this case we also look at the so-called voice of products which we can use to predict how this product might evolve in the future, actually despite the customers. <laughs> so these two um, things, contradictions and um, three strands of evolution form the ground of modern trees. But there is more. In our framework, which we call X-trees, 
which is basically an extension of uh, classical original trees. We identify a number of situations when inventive thinking and creative problem solving is required. Let me mention them. The first one is analysis of ill-defined situations. Well, a common question is when we want to change something or start solving some problem, we actually want to know what we are going to do. And it's not always easy. So the first task is to find a problem, to formulate our problem correctly. The second situation, perhaps it's the most common situation in the modern world, we face when we face a situation when something does not go wrong, right. <laughs> we call this quality problems or reliability problems. Very often the problems emerge when certain negative or harmful effect appears and we have to fight it. And very often we can't do it because even if we know a solution, how to solve a problem, the solution might not be adaptable or applicable to our situation. And again, when we try to solve it, we face a conflict. But how to solve a conflict? Well, Tris helps us with that. A third type of situations is when we want to increase the performance of a certain product or a certain process. The next situation happens when we want to reduce costs. Let's imagine we have a beautiful mobile phone, but it's incredibly costly. What we would like to have to drop down the costs. We all know the methods of how to find costs, but usually they give us a small change, like 3%, 5%. But what if we want to reach 20, 30, 50%? Then we need inventive thinking. And for that situation, we also have a number of tools and trees. An next situation happens when we have a certain object or a system and we would like to increase its usability. Another situation happens, let's imagine you developed a certain new technology, you invented a laser. But, well, that's just, at this moment, it's just an invention. What to do next? Next, we would like to see how we can use this new technology to create new products or perhaps new services. So here we are talking about technology diversification. Another situation is when we have our system product and it works perfectly well, but we know that our competitors do not sleep. So we would like to see how could we or would we develop our technology or our product or our business service into the future. Another very important situation happens when we have a task to identify customer demands and especially hidden customer demands. And the last situation, the last but not least, is a situation when let's imagine we already produced a number of creative ideas or inventive solutions and now we want to evaluate them. How? Well, since trees contains basic principles of evolution of systems, we have a range of quite subjective criteria which helps us to rank and evaluate our ideas and select the best candidates. So we can, as you can see from my explanation, TRIS does not replace our creativity. Instead, it boosts our creative imagination by providing us with a thinking triggers. And in the x -trace, the whole process of from the very initial situation towards the finally final selected idea or a solution is covered. So we have a certain process going from the ill-defined situation to the evaluation of ideas. And each 
part of this process is supported with certain tools. Well, this is supposed to be a short presentation, so I'm not going to um, take too much of your time. I just wanted to say that at ICG Training Consulting, we offer different services within this X uh, Trees approach. We offer training at all levels, from beginner to advanced, to train the trainer. We offer assistance service when we help our customers to uh, fight problems or to predict future solutions. Or we help our customers to conduct very short creative sessions, group sessions, when we use trees and the ideas from trees to boost the group creativity. So, perhaps that's all what I wanted to say. It's very hard to stop because trees is much, much bigger. But whenever you need new information, you can always contact us at www.xtrees.com. Thank you very much for your attention.